hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing you um how you can work with the views in start pro um working with the view in start pro is quite easy but it is not uh, almost the same as other softwares where you can just be dragging your mouse and then you know moving up like that okay so you need to specify the view you want to see okay so um if you look up here these are the views you have you can see you have this you have this you have this you have this 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 and this okay so um let me take you through them one by one on um, this first one you are seeing you can see you are viewing from plus z so um what this simply means is that you can check down here to see um your global axis orientation okay you see y that is vertical and then this direction that is x and then the direction that is facing me that is the z direction so you are looking from the plus z you are looking from the minus z view here you are looking from minus x all right here you are looking from plus x for simplicity when you look at all these boxes the position where you can see the yellow color that is the position of your eye okay so if you are looking at something so that means your eye is at where this yellow color is so you are looking in this direction um for example let me active let me select this beam and then hold control to select this beam as well okay so i don't want to see the 3d view that you can see this is the isometric view where i'm seeing all the three uh the 3d i only want to see the 2d but i want to see the front direction i want to see in this direction okay so all you just need to do is click on this view then you will see what you'll be having okay so you can see this is the direction where the beam is so let me put it back in the isometric then the other one this is when you are looking from the other side that is you are looking from the back all right so you are looking from the back in this direction that means you are looking from minus z okay so if you click on this that means this beam that you are seeing at the left will now go to the right so let's try to use that okay so you can see where the beam is now so this is where the beam is that's because you are looking from the back you are not looking from the front so let's if you look from the front this is where the beam will be then when you look from the back this is where the beam will be okay so that's why i said for simplicity you just need to know that okay where your eye is is the position where you are seeing the yellow color okay so let's see again this selected beam i don't want to see in this direction anymore i want to look at it in this direction which is um side view okay so i want to see in the side view so for example if i want to look from this direction which is minus x you know this is minus x this is the position where my eye is then just click on this then you will see um, the side view all right then this one is when you want to look from plus x then you see where the beam will be now okay all right so that is one then what about if you want to see the plan view all right let's say let me select the slab let's use the plate cursor then let me select this slab and then um this slab okay so now i want to look in the upper direction that is the plan view so if you want to look at that from the top okay you can see if you want to look at it from the top all you just need to do is click on this then you see that the selected one is here then these two that are not selected will be here all right so if you want to look in the other way around that is if you want to look from the bottom you can just select this and you be this will be selected okay if you want to see the asymmetric you select this so these are all the views that are present in the um start pro vhi so this is how you can navigate from this isometric view to the plan view to the front view to the side view and all the views you want to see so you can see in two views maybe you want to see in the positive or you want to see in the negative so that is how you work with the views in start pro in the next video i'll be showing you how we can create a frame like this okay you know i created this frame but i didn't show you how i created it in the next video i'll be showing you the different ways you can create that all right thanks for watching